Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to make Twitch Shakes in Premiere Pro with no plugins at all. These are two examples that I just made. So this one is very clearly a vertical shake because it moves up and down. And the next one is a horizontal shake because it moves left and right. So you can make shakes that look like these. First of all, prepare your clip and create an adjustment layer. So right click here, new item, adjustment layer, click OK. Add it on top of your clip and make sure that it's 5, 10, 15 frames long. Then add on the transform effect directly onto your adjustment layer. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. First of all, we need to make a scale out, which is basically a zoom out. And then we need to make the position, which is the shake itself. I will get to the problem in a second, but first let's make our zoom out. So click on the stopwatch next to the scale, which will set a keyframe at the start. Change this value to 140 or similar, depending on your preference. So I'm gonna go 140. Now head all the way to the end, but one frame back so not to the end just one frame back from the end of your adjustment layer and reset this back to zero by clicking on this arrow next we're going to graph this so click on the arrow next to the stopwatch the tiny one just there and select your second keyframe click and drag this handle all the way to the left you see that little bar floating on the right you want to make sure that your handle is on level like that as a result you should have a very smooth slope rather than something that looks like this or something that looks like this it should look smooth like so from this point on just follow along it's more of a watch me edit because your result may look different to mine so what i'm going to be doing is sort of randomize the values for the position when we add the keyframes onto it so what i'm going to do first of all is set a keyframe at the start and i'm going to push this first value to the left just like so until we hit the edge so i'm just going to push it back because we don't want this black part visible so i'm just going to push it back like so perfect i'm also going to push it down to the corner and do the same so make sure it's not visible and let go then i'm going to move one two frames ahead this is where it starts to glitch out because when i move this first value let's say to the left you can see it kind of like jolts or zooms in so at the moment for some reason it's zooming in but when i let go it zooms back out. So every time I make any adjustment to any of these two values, it snaps into a very specific spot. So let me try again. If I just move this to the left and let's just say I leave it here cause the edge on the right hand side is hidden. So just there, if I let go, you can see that it completely just jumps. This is not what it looked like when we were adjusting the value. So really all you need to do is just keep on making those changes until you're happy. So I'm just gonna keep on pushing it to the right because this is what the frame actually looks like. So since I've got this gap and I want to hide it, I'm going to continue pushing my first value to the right, which is a shame because I can't actually see it when I'm moving it. So I'm just going to do that. Nope, still visible. Just a bit more. Again, keep on doing that. Perfect. That looks fine. I'm going to repeat it for the bottom part as well. So I'm going to move the second value and just push it to the right so that we can hide the edge. There you go. Done. And now just repeat this. So one, two frames ahead. Pick another corner. So actually, instead of a corner, I'm going to pick the top. Twitch shakes are usually random, or at least they look best when they're random. So I that's the value I'm going to be picking. So just moving it to the left a bit and then move, moving it up. So something like that nope still visible i'm gonna push it down there you go perfect one two one more time and what you can do here is just repeat what you did at the beginning so bottom left corner if you would like to so i'm just gonna adjust it like so and almost there there you go perfect now head one two three four frames ahead and reset the keyframe now that you have five in total just highlight all of them right click on one of them head over to is it spatial interpolation and select linear then highlight the last four so not the one at the beginning just the last four right click on them temporal interpolation and select ease in also what you can do is add on motion blur uncheck this box which uh, i don't think makes a difference but i do it anyway because a ton of editors do probably really pointless but anyway uh increase the shutter angle all the way up to 180 and if you're happy with it then i suppose you're done it looks really smooth if you want to go even further you can just crank this up all the way to 360 and that's going to add a ton of motion blur onto your clip i honestly prefer 180 or even sometimes 90 it looks good enough for me. If you did not know, I do have a shake and transition pack which contains a few shakes. So for example, horizontal, twitch and also vertical shakes. So if I just add on this one, for example, my clip now has a twitch shake and all I had to do was just simply drag and drop. There are vertical shakes as well. So for example, this one and also horizontal ones that look like this and a few more you can find it in the description below and if you use the code preset you get 20% off until the end of august thank you for watching peace